Okay, what is up everyone? It's Sam 64 Wheels here and I have a huge video to share today so I'm going to get going um, because it's going to be a long one but if you're a Dukes of Hazzard fan this is going to be awesome for you because I'm going to cover every single version of the Roscoe car that they have made ever. So that counts the, um, the original cars from 81, the remakes in 97, 2001, uh, 2005, all the way up until the Johnny Lightning version, the first one, the 74 Monaco, the 77 Monaco version, and including the green light um, non-licensed hazardous collection car. So as you can see, you got a ton here to cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. And then um, if you guys have any questions or comments or whatever, definitely leave them to me. Um, in the comment area and we will try to see what we can do about answering all of them. So um, First off, I'm gonna start with the little Dukes of Hazzard the Ertl the history of the Ertl casting um, In 1981 is when all the Dukes of Hazzard cars came out um, Ertl released originally there were I think I think five or six official Dukes of Hazzard cars They were the General Lee the Roscoe car, which was the Bonneville um, the Boss Hogs Cadillac Daisy's Jeep um, Cooter's truck and that came in two different variations it came in a step side and a fleet side um, but that was it there was those five and a couple other cars got mixed in like there's a blue van Ford van that was in some of the four packs and then there were um, four or five different General Lee variations but I'll get into those too um, but that was basically it. I think there was a Corvette in one of them too, but it's not a real Dukes Hazard car. It was just a filler car. So um, I'm going to start with the 1981. Um, this is a USA version of the casting, and I'm going to zoom in. Um, all these cars look very similar. There are three different versions of the original 1981 car. The car we're looking at, which is the USA casting, the Singapore casting, and the Hong Kong casting. Um, General Lee's came in four different uh, casting is the USA, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Singapore, and then later China, uh, which this actually gets a later China release too, but we're talking about the original. So the USA version is a very clean version of this car, as you can tell. They never actually used the Pontiac Wanneville, like I said in the last one, un unveiling the, or unboxing the red light bar car. Um, so it's still kind of a mystery is why Ertl picked this to me because they had a 74 Monaco that Johnny Lightning used later on. It wasn't the same car, but it was a um, one for the Blues Brothers. So they actually had that casting. And anyways, um, so what makes the USA car special? The 1981 original, how you can tell if it's 81, um, it'll always say on the base that it has the date. Well, it doesn't, have, oh shit, sorry. Um, I'm sorry, it doesn't have the base on this one. I'm thinking of the General Lee. Um, but as you can see, it says replica. Oh, come on. 1980 Pontiac Bonneville. It's made in the USA. Let me see. There it is on the bottom. Um, only 1981 versions will be made in the USA. The later ones using the same casting were made in China. Um, it has the three segment light bar. You can see the light bars are cut into different segments. Um, the other versions do not have that. So that's specific to an 81 or an 80 Ertl. 81, I'm sorry, I'm getting all confused. Um, USA casting as well as the decals on the door when it comes back around. Um, the USA version, just like the USA General Lee, had sticker based decals. You can see that um, right there, where they have solid backs, so the, the background of that decal is white, and then it has a printed color sticker over it. Um, so when they wear out, they just kind of wear out to to be white stickers or kind of just come off. So here is one like that kind of has like the sticker worn off. You can see that, um, but it does have a white background. And then this casting does have a, a little bit differences between the, the Singapore and the Hong Kong one. So I'm gonna kind of bring it closer to the camera. So it has a two or three segments tail light area, which it, it looks pretty clean. It looks like the real car. Um, and then the front bumper is pretty, it's a little wide. It's taller than the other ones. Um, so I'll show you those. But that's how you tell an original 1981 um, USA casting. It says USA on the bottom. None of the other ones will say that. It has the sticker as the door sticker. It's an actual sticker, not a decal. And it has the segmented light bar. So oh, we'll get more to this later because they remade it in years coming. Um, 
Another thing with that casting is that it is one that has a wheel variation. So there is the wheel variation on that. Um, like I said, these cars came in three different ways. So you could get them in the four pack with a, a bunch of other cars. You could get them in a mail away three pack with the General Lee, the Rosso car and the Box Hawks Cadillac. And then you could get them with the play set. So I'm gonna back it up a little bit and show you the play set. Um, so the playset is this. Um, it came with cardboard houses and buildings and a bunch of other stuff. I have this open. I'm going to do a video on this, so be looking for this soon. Um, but as you can see, it came in that one too. And if you'll notice, let's see if I can get this in there. Um, if you'll notice that one, it has mismatched wheels on it. And that is actually a common variation. I've, I've found it several times on cars. Like, for example, this one I just showed you has it. Um, for some reason, it's always the back tire. Um, and that's, to me, I've never found one with just the front. It doesn't mean they're out there. Um, but again, it's not a super rare variation as they are a ton of them out there. Like I have two and I don't really buy a ton of the police cars even though I have a, a bunch of them. Um, so that is a variation out there if you're looking for it with the, I, I don't really know what they call that wheel. The front wheels like Ertl speed wheels, but I can't remember what they call that back one exactly. Um, but they do have that variation with all four of them or just the two. So if you're out there looking for all variations, um, check for that. So um, the next one we're gonna be looking at is the Hong Kong casting. And it is, they are different castings from the USA casting. Sorry about that noise again. Um, I don't know if you can tell this, but the front end is a little bit more squished than the USA casting. And this has a clear back decal. So as you see, it's coming around, it's clear and it's printed on a clear so there's no white like paper background um, which causes them to get dirty when they peel off um, i have a bunch of these versions i would say this is probably the most common version of the 81 cars um, i'm going to switch it off real quick for another one um, so this is what it looks like when it comes off it just rubs off and just looks kind of gross um, and this is pretty common too. Some cars didn't even come with the chrome and they'll have like a yellow or a kind of mustardy base. Um, but as you can see, like here's another one that's kind of beat up. Um, when that comes off, it kind of leaves a really sticky residue on it. So you'll want to watch for that if you're trying to collect them too. Um, but the Hong Kong car is pretty nice. Overall, its proportions are very similar, but it is a different casting than the USA. As you can see, the light bar is flat. It's straight across, it's not segmented. I'm gonna back it up just a touch. Um, and it has, I'm gonna try to get it a little closer here. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it has like a, almost like a graded or a gradient in the middle to make it look like the siren is in the center, but it's just flat. Let's see, it has, it's like a um, textured bit. It's almost like, looks like a piece of sandpaper. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. You can see a little front way. There it is. Um, but that that shares that light bar is shared with the Hong Kong version and then the Singapore version. Um, so as it comes around, you'll notice that the tail light detailing is different from the USA car. It's a lot thicker and it has like ripples in it, um, which is a lot different than the USA car. I'm actually going to pop the USA car right around here when it comes now that we've looked at it individually. Um, so when you see it come around, you can see the difference in the front ends that it actually is a different casting. It's not just made in a different country. It is physically a different plastic mold that they use. Um, the body is very similar. It actually might be the same body. Um, it, they have just a bit, little bit different detailing on each of them, but you can really see it in the taillights too that the bottom is different. Um, which gives the car a different look <laughs> totally. So that is a variation if you want to collect them all. The Hong Kong one is a different variation of that. So um, in my opinion, this is the most common version of the 81 police car is the Hong Kong. Next would be the USA. And then the rarer one would be the Singapore one. So I probably have 20 to 30 of these cars in general, just in my collection. And I only have one Singapore car um, because it is a little bit rare. They only came in the multi-packs and then the multi-packs had to be made in Singapore. So that's how you got this car. Um, 
This is the Singapore one. In my opinion, this is the rarest of the 1981 cars. It came with the same blue light bar that's not uh, like sequenced out or sectioned out from the USA. As you can see, it's the flat one. It has the same like um, textured area in the center. It does have a little bit different rear bumper than the even the Hong Kong when I put them together they do look a little different and I'll do that for a second for a second here for you um, it came with the same wheels as the other ones but it came this one also came with the same Hong Kong the clear back decal so this one's a little dirty I haven't washed it off yet um, it, they all have tan interiors I haven't really paid too close of attention to the interiors but they look very very similar um, so if they were the same, I wouldn't be surprised, or if they have tiny differences, I wouldn't be surprised at, at that either. Um, but they're kind of hard to tell since a lot of the older cars, the windows are not as clear. Um, but this is the only Singapore variation that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and put that um, up next to the Hong Kong casting so you can see how close the Hong Kong and the Singapore castings are together. Um, they're very similar. If not, you know, they might be the same with just a little bit different variations from factory to factory. But as you can tell, like the body lines look very similar, but the back of the cars to me are different. Um, they have a little bit different uh, molding to them. They're not as crisp as the Hong Kong, as you can see. Um, so to me, the, the best version of the original 1981, like I think the Hong Kong, like this one, looks the best. <laughs> um, and these were only done in 1981 so I'm going to show you the bottom of them real quick so you can see if you're looking for this exact car um, it says right there made in Singapore and you'll only find that on 1981 cars you won't find that on any of the remakes and here's the Hong Kong car same thing says right there made in Hong Kong and you won't see that on any of the new cars these are only 1981 um, and I say you won't see this on any of the other cars because the USA castings in general for Ertl are the ones they used for everything so this is the USA casting as we just went over um, they made a ton of them um, they made them through 1981 to I really don't know when the Duke stopped in 85 but it, they literally made millions of these like the General Lee was one of their most popular die cast cars ever and they made millions of them um, so I don't know how many they made of the police car but it was an absolute ton of them so in um, 1997 when the Dukes of Hazzard reunion aired on CBS it renewed some of the popularity of the Dukes so they wanted to capitalize on that and they brought out several Dukes of Hazard things at that time one of them which I'm going to back it up was this chase set from 1997 the three vehicle set which brought us our first reissuing of a Roscoe police car this is 1997 only um, and it in 1997 the Dukes of Hazard video game for PlayStation 1 came out, those came out, the mini line, like the little, I don't want to call them micro machines because that's a branding, but they're like micro Duke Sazer cars from Ertl came out, um, and I think that was it in 97. There might have been some other things I'm forgetting about, um, but 1997 brought us the USA casting again, but this time it says made in China, um, which all the new ones past 19... Uh, 81 will say they're all made in China just like everything is nowadays um, so when they reissued this car right here in 1997 um, they did away with the stickers all all the cars 1997 and up do not have decals um, they have tampos so tampos are uh, like a Hot Wheels term but it's basically like um, paint rather than stickers so as you can see on this car it says Hazard County. It's very similar to the stickers on the Hong Kong version um, and the Singapore version. If I, I'm going to put them on there like this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, but they are very similar to each other um, in shape. The 1997 one has a bigger star by any of them. It's definitely not the original USA sticker because it's not even anywhere big enough. Um, it's very close to the Singapore and Hong Kong um, sticker. So what we did see revive the chrome chassis, the USA base, the USA body, and the USA 
three notched um, light bar as well. And this time, instead of the tan interior of the old ones, this time we got a gold interior, which might be a little easier, harder to see, but you can even see when the car comes around how the old one on the left is significantly more tan where the new one on the right is gold. Um, you can see the casting is the same as it comes around. The bumpers are the same. Um, the only thing, real, I mean the wheels are the same. The only thing that is different about this is now that when you flip it over, it will say made in China. Um, you can see right there, made in China. There's a marker on the bottom of this one, but just ignore that. So same base as the 81, um, it just is made in China now. So once the 97 car, this one came out, um, it, it kind of kicked a lot of things off. The Dukes Hazard got a, a large run up until 2005 when the movie came out. Um, in between 1997 and 2005, quite a few General Lee's, um, Rosso Car, Daisy's, I mean, they made them in a bunch of different versions. So I'm gonna back this up for a second. Um, so this is a 2005 um, three pack from, it's it's from Joyride, but it's Ertl Racing Champions. Ertl and um, Racing Champions, they kind of combined companies and then they were issued in Joyride and they there are all kinds of branding issues with them. Um, but since then, they probably, I'm trying to think how many it is, five different Roscoe cars, um, but they're all based on the USA casting, which is now the China base. So this is the 1997 version. It is plain white with just door tampos. So the, these other versions, they came out at different times, so I won't say what year they are, but basically between um, 1997 or 2001 and now is when the rest of these um, showed up. So just in the multi-packs, well, Racing Champions did release this version in a single car pack. That was the first time we ever got a Roscoe car from Ertl slash Racing Champions in a single car pack. Um, they came in packs that look like this. Let me back this one off a little bit. They, they came in packages that look like this, but they just had the Roscoe car in them. Um, they're, you don't really see them too often, but they're the same cars as the multi-pack here. So unless you're collecting the packages, you don't really, it's not really any different. Um, so the next version of the USA China casting that came to us was this one. And again, it is the same overall casting as the USA in 1981 and then the China in 1997. It's got the same front end, the same chassis, the same body, same light bar even, um, but the tampos changed just a little. As you can see, this version says Sheriff on the front fenders. And that's really the only change for this. But it is a variant, so I wanted to mention it. And <coughs> um, it's the first time that we've seen Sheriff, like any actually decaling other than the 1981. Um, so this was the first different Roscoe car since 1981 that we got that had additional tampos. So um, the next version would be this car again. USA body, um, as you can see, this this one is actually like a flat gold interior where the other ones were like a glossy gold interior. It still has the Hazard County door badge. It has the sheriff over the front fenders, but this one, as you'll see it come around, is rare because it has painted taillights from the factory, and that is the only time they did that. Um, it was on the blue light bar cars. I think this one was from 2005 I can't remember which exactly which one this came from um, but to me this is probably the nicest new one that wasn't from 1981 because it has the fender badge it has the like gold interior like the old one is closer to that um, it uses the nice USA slash China base and body and it has the printed tail lights on it which I think are cool because it just I mean it just adds a lot more like look how plain it looks compared to the like the red tail lights are a nice touch so um, I think this is probably the best version and they only made one or two um, three packs with this car in it so this one's a little bit harder to find and the hard part about buying these on eBay is most people take pictures like this just sitting there straight um, so I've had to message people before actually to get this car I messaged the seller and said hey does this have red on the tail light and he said yes and that's that's how I ended up with it so <coughs> um, that's the what now third version of that car so there is the third version with tail lights same thing on the bottom 
made in China, but this one actually has, you can see the Warner Brothers mark in the center of it. And then it has, I'm gonna try to see if I can get it. Let me see, move this a little bit. Um, it has a black licensing line, 1980 Pontiac Bonneville used under license. I don't know if you can see that. And then it has an additional um, Warner Brothers mark right on the muffler too. Um, there you go. Um, so this is the probably the best version of a Roscoe car you can get in the bon Pontiac Bonneville version. If you want to be like true to the original Ertl, this is the best version of that, in my opinion. Um, there's still one more version of that, um, and that is the red light bar car that we opened the other day. Um, it's just a red light bar there's really not anything different about it other than that it's the same light bar it's sequenced or it's um, sectioned in three areas it's got the goldish tan interior it has the hazard counting just like the other usa castings <laughs> or chinese castings um, it doesn't have the fender sheriff on it and it doesn't have the red tail lights so literally the only thing different about this one is the red light bar so if you're trying to collect them all um, definitely look for the one that says Hazard County on it um, because it is important because after this um, probably around 2008 2009-ish um, they released Earl Ertl I say they um, released several different versions of the police car um, here's another one so while this may look exactly like the one I just showed it's not um, it has a different colored light bar. It is not gloss. It is like a almost like an orange color I'm gonna put this next to it the the red light bar one um, Back it up just a little um, as you can see it is a different color. It's like a almost like an orange plastic instead of red and it is missing the Hazard County from the door because it is not a Hazard County car. As you can see, that is a licensed Dukes of Hazard car. It has the marks on the bottom. This is not. So basically what Ertl did was release these cars. Um, there's this one, which is like, it almost has like a blue hue to it. And then they release these, which have a more white hue to it, closer to the actual Dukes of Hazard. Like you can see that. Um, but these cars do not have Hazard County on them anywhere, and they do not have Warner Brothers legal on the bottom. They are not Dukes of Hazard cars. So what Ertl did was just make this car without having to pay the licensing, so they just took Hazard County off of them. Um, and a lot of people will, you'll see this car sold on eBay all the time, and it will say Hazard County Patrol Car, and it is not. So. If you are collecting the Dukes Hazard Patrol cars, this is not an actual patrol car. Don't get, you know, swindled into buying that when you're looking for the actual Hazard County Patrol car. So, the with the red light bar. So, if if you're looking for this one, definitely you got to like look for that Hazard County script at the bottom because these are not Warner Brothers, you know, Dukes Hazard police cars of any sort. I even have them with the tag on them still because they were sold sing as singles at Tractor Supply and other places. And you can see on the tag, it says Ertl Collectibles. You can see the stock number and everything. Nowhere on it does it say Dukes of Hazard or Warner Brothers. Um, and then this generally, which is sold right along next to it in Tractor Supply, same year, it has this tag on it. Um, which has the stock number and everything, but when you flip it over, oh, my bad, and look at it, it says Warner Brothers on it in multiple places. Oh, it's hard to hold. I'm sorry. I don't want to bend it either. It says, oh, where'd that? Warner Brothers. It has the Warner Brother logo right there, and it says, you know, Dukes of Hazard, Dodge, all this other stuff. So this is a license tagged. This one is not. So don't get swindled into buying a, just this cheap, Bonneville police car because it is not a Dukes one. Um, save your money and get an original one or get one of the new ones that Johnny Lightning or Greenlight. Greenlight really makes an awesome car. So um, that is basically all of the original 1981 versions. So I'm going to put them, I'm going to see if I can put them all on the turntable. So this is the in order here. So I'm going to use the, the funny tire one. There's the USA. Here is the Singapore. Here is, let's see, here is the USA. 
Oh, I already put the USA. I'm sorry. Here is the Hong Kong. <laughs> so those are the three original ones. I'm going to zoom them in. And then the other versions of those, which were released in 1997. I'm going to put those back up over there. Were the 1997. The one with the Brasco or the Sheriff on the fenders. The one with the red tail lights. And then the subsequent uh, Hazard County one with the orange, or the red, I'm sorry, the red light bar. So those are all the variants that came out since about 2001, 1997. Um, you can see a little bit difference in the light bar when the light hits them. Um, you can see the decals are different, the sheriff's decals, the, the taillight decals, the um, Hazard County decals are basically all the same, or the tampos on the doors are all the same. So there is basically the entire set if you're looking for these cars that's what you're looking for you're looking for those four or those three let's see if i can put them all on here wow singapore so there they all are in one turntable um i'll give you a second to look at them all um but these are it so there's basically seven different cars um that you could get based on the original 1981 casting. So just to, just to go over them again, originals, USA, Singapore, Hong Kong bases, and then 1997 and up, they're all made in China bases, but there's four variations. The blue light bar with just the door tampos, the blue light bar, door and fender tampos, the blue light bar with door, fender tampos, and taillights, and then the red light bar with just door tampos. So that is all seven of the Ertl Bonneville casting Dukes of Hazard patrol cars. So from there, um, we're going to go on to the next series of cars, which were made by Johnny Lightning. Um, they first came out, I believe, right around the um, the time of the, the, the movie, 2005. So they actually used correct, well, somewhat correct casting. So this is the Enos car from there. Um, let me check and see when they were made. Um, yeah, so this is 2007. Um, this is an Enos car. This is an awesome version of this car. It's super clean. Um, it's really nice quality. has real riders, the tampos. I mean, it just has a ton of tampos, taillights, the correct license plate, 83502. Enos's license plate on the car. <coughs> Um, you can see it has really nice door tampos on it. It has headlights. It has the Dodge across the front. It has the push bar. It has the correct um, aerodynamic looking light bar on it. Way better than any anything Ertl put out in 19, 1991. 1981. I'm sorry. So these cars are kind of expensive now. Um, they were everywhere. I found them actually at the dollar store on clearance. So they came in this kind of clam shell packaging. I'll put it over here. Um, the only thing I don't like about these cars is that they only use this Monaco in the first five episodes when they're in Georgia. After that, they didn't use any of the um, Monacos or even the Grand Furies. They used all Furies or Monacos, the, the later um, 77, 78 version. So this 74 Monaco isn't really a correct casting. Um, it's a lot nicer than the 81. I will definitely take it over the 81. Um, but it's still not the correct car. What it actually is, is Johnny Lightning's Bluesmobile casting um, from 1998 that they used in their Hollywood on Wheels line. So as you can see, it is a very nice car. But still, if you're a Duke Sazer fan, you know the later, basically 77, 78 Monaco's are, are where what they use in the bulk of the show. But Johnny Lightning heard fans and went from this car and to the correct 1978-1977 um, Dodge Monaco. Now this came out in one of the shorter cars. It was in the Johnny Lightning 2.0 series. They were, I did not find very many of them at the stores. These were at the end of the line, at the end of the run. Um, you didn't see very many of these in stores. They're kind of scarce now. They're pretty expensive. Like they usually sell for anywhere from $20 to $50 each. 
Um, same thing for the other Johnny Lightning Monaco. Like they're usually in the $20 range at least. But this is by far the nicest patrol car Dukes of Hazard uh, anywhere. It's super detailed. It's nicely shaped. Um, it has the right tampos on it. It has the sheriff decals. Um, which the Roscoe version of the, the 74 Monaco has. Um, the light bar has improved greatly over the 74 version. Um, <coughs> it makes it look even more like aerodynamic. I think that's how you say it. Um, whereas this one, this almost looks like a twin Sonic light bar, which I have on my actual Real Fury. Um, so you can see the differences in the quality and then the interior on the 77, 78 is just so much cleaner and it just has nice detailing and the colors are really crisp on it and it just looks like what you would see chasing the General Lee. Like that's what we watched. This one, really not this one. Um, so it is by far to me the nicest Ertl family, which is Johnny Lightning, um, Joyride, RC2, Racing Champions. This is like the pinnacle of the original um, license line. Like it does not get any better than this car. It is super nice. The hood opens. Let's see if I can get it open here. But these are these are still a little hard to find um, even today. The hood opens. The old black engine. So I have a couple prototypes of this car. I'm going to post in a little later video. Um, but this is just a really nice car. I'm glad Johnny Lightning did it and made it correct before they stopped the Duke's Hazard line because this is by far the most beautiful Roscoe car uh, that I think they've made to date. It's it's super nice metal chassis, metal body. Um, even the bottom is very detailed. I have a ton of these Monaco's. They, I mean, they made them in taxi cabs. They made them in other police cars. They have uh, what looks like a CHP car. Um, a couple other they made demolition derby castings of them they just use it a lot but this is just a beautiful version of that car so um this is what they came out this is what it looked like in the package um they were like the short i would i wouldn't want to say short cards but they are shorter than our traditional card um the 2.0 they're just beautiful cars um in the packaging like they they do go for a little bit of money like 50 usually 50 bucks ish um, as you can see, the Roscoe's car. Um, I wish they would remake this. This would be amazing to have more of these, but I probably have six or seven of them. And they look great for dioramas. Um, so that was the end of the original Johnny Lightning, Ertl, whatever um, line. That was basically it. That was the last one we've seen. So Johnny Lightning made this, a Roscoe car version with different... Um, with different tampos and the light bar was switched because <laughs> the correct side the red is on the driver's side that would be more correct um but these are both beautiful cars if you like to collect duke's hazard stuff you can't go wrong with either of them i definitely lean towards the 77 78 car more um just just great great looking cars so um and we thought that was going to be it you know there's a debacle with the confederate flag no matter how you think on the issue, it has really um, killed the Deuce Hazard market. That no one is making General Lees anymore. They stopped making the models. They stopped making the 164s. They stopped making the slot cars. They stopped making everything. It just killed the market for it. Um, but luckily, Greenlight has found a way around that. And how they have found a way around it is because the Roscoe car itself is not a licensed character car like the General Lee is. It is just a standard police car, so no one copyrighted it or put any trademark on it. So that has allowed Greenlight to make a hazardous collection um, full of Dukes of Hazard cars. Um, we probably, we will never see the General Lee from them, but we could see a General or a 69 Charger with vector style wheels, push bar, and orange paint so that we can customize it. But what this is, is a 77 78 or i'm sorry I, this is a earlier this is the fury so this is like a probably 77 fury <coughs> um this is a beautiful car it is it takes the johnny lightning car to the next level it's proportioned better its light bar looks great it has the little dots like for the speaker um in the center the grill looks amazing um the engine is much more detailed the tampos are 
great on it. They look exactly like the show's tampos, like or the decals on the car in the show. It has just very nice shape overall. It has the police hubcaps with the correct slotted police wheels on it. Um, and you can see, I'm going to put it next to the Johnny Lightning car here. The same, well, it's not that it's pretty much the same, but look how tiny it is compared to the green light car. Like, it's almost like they're scaled. Like, it almost looks like the Johnny Lightning one is scaled 187 scale. Um, it is so, so tiny compared to the green light one, where I would think green lights is probably more accurate um, to 164th. It's a little larger. Um, but they both look excellent. Like, you can see, like, how, look how small the Johnny Lightning one is compared to the green light version. I mean, there's a huge difference. And another thing that I think um, is helping Greenlight make these cars is that you can clearly tell it is not white. It is a almost a cream color. So the Johnny Lightning car, true to the show, is like a Mopar white, just that standard police car white. Um, and then the Greenlight one is like a almost like a buttercream. It's a tan color with a touch yellow in it. And you can't really tell the difference too much unless you have something that is pure white right next to it. Like when this Johnny Lightning car is right next to it, you can clearly tell it's not white. It's tan. Um, which does suck a little bit, but I understand they're probably getting around it a little bit. Um, the licensing by, you know, kind of offing the color a little bit. But they do both have, it says Hazard County on here. So, um... Let's see if I can get it here. I'm going to scoot it back some. Whoop. There it goes. It says Hazard County right there. You can see it. Two Z's and everything. Um, so it is no different licensing wise um, than this one. It has all the same marks on it. It just doesn't say Duke's Hazard. It's not licensed by Warner Brothers, but it's in theory the same car. Um, so if you're looking to buy the more realistic like true to life Duke Seth Hazard Roscoe car the Johnny Lightning 2.0 Monaco is by far the best one um it looks the best it's it, it just looks the best if you're going for the better overall car I would probably pick the green light car a because they're way more affordable um they're more you can find them easier they have more parts you can um, do customs with them. Like I probably would not smash this up to make a diorama or a custom because it's too expensive and rare of a car. But these, they are even making a second round of these. Greenlight said they're making more of them, <coughs> and they're pretty, pretty affordable. I I found them. Like I have a whole bunch of them. Like I could literally just keep putting them on here. Um, I have so many of them because I really like to make dioramas, and I'm going to make some using these cars um they're just they're just look awesome so i'm super glad that johnny lightning has or johnny Lightning or green light has made these and there's more coming and i have uh, the newest one off to my left here um but they are good cars i'm going to take this and open up the hood too so i can show you what the hood looks like or the engine looks like um they are painted blue engines um, so even under the hood, they're more detailed than the Johnny Lightnings. Um, they just look better overall. Um, you can, let me see if I can get the, the grill detail. There you go. I mean, it is a very nice card. They're, they have the numbers on the bottom. Because um, they are limited edition. I don't know how many they make, but they are limited edition. Um, just a really, really nice, nice Dukes of Hazard car. So I'm pumped that Greenlight has started to make these. Uh, I look forward to getting more of them, but they are not done. They are making, they have made more and are making more Duke's Hazard cars, um, including this one. Back it up, whoop, which is the 75 Monaco, which is the version that Johnny Lightning did first where to go. So if you look at the, the two here, you can tell the size difference and the scale difference. And look, look how much better the front of this is and even the back like G green light is one of my favorite if not my favorite outside hot wheels um die cast company they just are making amazing stuff so uh, i'm gonna do an unboxing of this later too but they are even making these and then they're making the fury enos race car that johnny lightning made also 
Um, so they they are helping keep the Dukes alive with these non-licensed hazardous collections. So just to recap, I'm going to put all of them out here, um, starting from oldest to newest. <coughs> so green light, green light, um, Johnny Lightning. Where's the other one? Whoa, I lost it. I lost it. Um, Johnny Lightning. And they made two of these. The light bar would be switched on the Roscoe one. Um, China. China. Oh, where are the other ones? I'm missing up some of them. I got them all mixed up since I put them down. There's another one. Original. There's another one. Original. And then... Where'd the other one go here? Oh, that's a USA one too. I'm trying to, there's a Singapore. So there they are in all their glory. All of the Duke's Hazard patrol cars variations that you could buy. Um, so far, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there are about a dozen different police cars you could buy from Duke's of Hazard. Um, and that is all of them. So if you want to collect them all, you're in, you're in for a hunt because there are some of them are hard to find, some of them aren't, but I hope that was informational. I'm going to be doing the same thing on the Ertl, the General Lee casting, um, because there's a lot of variations to that too. Um, they made a ton of those, so I, I hope this was informational. Let me know in the comments if what you thought of this, if, if you have a favorite police car too. Um, I just, I mean, there's so many. I, I still have a bunch more, um, but the, these are all of them. Like this is all the variations of them, so. If you're a Dukes of Hazzard fan and want to see more, definitely let me know. Um, like I said, I'm be going over the General Lee next. I'm going to go over that cardboard playset. I have that open. I'll be doing an unboxing on the 75 Monaco here. Um, look, opening up some of the other green light cars, the Hazardous Collection. So stay tuned, and there'll be more Dukes of Hazzard information to come. So thanks, guys.